There are some places in this world where we feel at home. This island, before I had even stepped foot on it, felt like a homecoming. It's a special island to me that healed parts of me that I didn't even know needed healing. With the incredible people that I met, the amazing vegan food, I fell in love. It inspired me greatly and showed me the kind of life I want to live. Thank you for being here with me and I hope you enjoy. I've made it to Kopanga! <laughs> some green tea, um, some vegan margarita pizza. Good morning from Shimura. I'm really excited to be here. Sun's out. About like 8.30 in the morning right now. Wanna get a bike first, then go exploring. So excited to be there. This is where I'm staying. It is called, it's a back to this resort. Um, these are like the private bungalows. So many, that's the gym. This is the main chilling area. which is just taking out Baba's copy. There's my bike, <laughs> a character. But it was a 15 minute drive from a uh, backpack park 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 so we're not flying there. Such a cool spot. This is a chia coconut chia pudding. Looks really good. Very pretty. Nice view. I just realized that I have the keys sitting there. Thank you. Thank you. that I love about solo traveling is wherever you go you'll end up meeting fellow solo travelers along the way and I just happened to bump into this particular group of people that were absolutely amazing the kindest people and we had so much fun together just chilling at the beach and exploring the island and they honestly hold such a special place in my heart You think so? Yeah, because now you got a bit of sun and the water's a bit more blue now. Yeah, so it is. It's so much nicer day all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know where. These are all very psychedelic, trancy colors. <laughs>
the story here is Mia and Stefan had bought some chicken earlier and so the dogs were just following us around along the beach because they could smell it and we had like hid it in the bush but the dogs were just they knew that <laughs> there was chicken somewhere um, so they just kept following us around and it was really cute This is a Burmese salad and a spiced Thai latte. Um, it's the best seller, so I'm like, I have to try it. Not too bad of a view. We had decided the previous night that we were going to join a morning meditation class and then do some yoga on the beach afterwards and I honestly just love meeting people when I'm traveling because you share so many experiences and moments together and you spend so much time and it feels like you've known each other for so so much time when in reality it's only been like a couple of days i honestly love getting to experience these feelings <laughs> you guys have already been awake <laughs> <laughs> it actually the meditation made me wake up it was so stupid like it's the opposite uh, effect <laughs> like, you're like so equally spaced out so that means i'm like here then I've come back today to get this pizza because it was so good literally the best pizza I've ever had um, right now um, we're just while well, trying to get to Zen Beach um, and I've got my pizza because i got to go meet my friend and need to pay and then so we're just trying to get there for sunset but I'm really hungry and I want to eat now um, so yeah that's the plan but this pizza amazing
channel. <laughs> no, not really. It's not that big. We are at Zen Beach and it's really pretty. Really pretty. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> so we just took some troops um, at sunset. Uh, so we're gonna see what will happen on this shrimp trip. But pretty sunset. It's a nice beach. You like it, yeah? It was actually in this moment at the beach that I decided to extend my trip for an extra day in Copenhagen because I did not want to leave and Afro was just like, just stay another day. And so I just booked another ticket, booked an extra day, and yeah, everything just worked out so easily and it was meant to be. And I got to witness the drum circle that you will see later on in the video, which was absolutely worth it. Kopangan is a vegan heaven in my definition because pretty much all the stores are vegan or vegan friendly and I had known about this particular healing center before I went because of like the programs it offered and so I wanted to go check it out and also to try some vegan food. <laughs> After dipping into the ocean for a bit, I sat down and just started journaling. Journaling really helps me to declutter all of the thoughts that are in my head and I often feel like that I have thoughts and things that I want to share but I don't really have people that I can share it with all the time so being able to journal just helps me just let go of everything that I can't say to other people and I can say it to myself. Uh, so right now I'm just waiting for Afra to get her bike so I'll probably just do this while I'm waiting um, just to put you on what happened last night. Last night was crazy but it was really fun. I went to this conscious dance um event and it was really awesome well, obviously i can't film because like it's a safe space like for everybody to just be able to just dance freely and just you know scream do whatever you, that feels that like, comes to you um it was really really fun it was and like it was like an accepting practice you know like acceptance practice of like accepting your body who you are and i even shed like a couple of tears during like the whole thing because it was like really powerful so i also we also did shrooms um but they were like a complete bust because we literally felt nothing like literally nothing happened um so that was like a bust um but i was like a bit happy so you know it's not like i felt nothing completely but yeah i didn't get what i was hoping i would get um but that's okay um, but yeah, I really like it here and I think I'm going to be coming back here often because it's really nice. Um, I just get to live like an island girl life and it's a really chill life. Like people just, it's a slow life. People be driving with no helmets on. You know, it's a really cool vibe. It's a really cool island vibe. Um, so right now we just want to go to Apple Bar, which is like a three point bar. And I've just had like a really chill day. Um, like I had a massage and just laying and sleeping at the beach. Just really chill, not doing too much today because I've been doing so much every day and I'm just like, just 
relax, you know. Um, yeah. literally at the beach walking to the beach bar because um so the girls and i we were at a, a different beach at zen beach um and so i was driving because since i'm the only one who can drive um i had to drive both afra and mia back to the well sort of back to the hostel so i had to drive one way then go back and get afra and so yeah and on the way back i like we wanted to go get dinner so we went to a different um beach bar that's closer to our hostel and I forgot my phone like literally in the bike like not even inside the engine or anything but like outside where you would like put your I don't know like like keys small items stuff like that so I forgot it and it's literally like right there you know anyone who's walking by can literally just grab it but luckily Thailand is a pretty safe country and I just I ran back like across the beach it was still there and thank goodness I have not lost my phone because yeah I don't know that would have been I don't even want to think about that because I would have lost everything I've been recording for the past two weeks and just like just a big inconvenience you know so but yay it's not lost and I found it our meal we walked back to our hostel and we made some tea we just had to wait for the warm the water to warm up and then we played some jenga and we had a really sweet time just talking and bonding Now we're at my head beach and we're snorkeling and yeah it's so fun there's so many fish like I'm not like a confident swimmer so I've got like a life jacket for me he is in the water right now <laughs> Do I look like I'm struggling? I, I'm video right now, so <laughs> you're doing great. Yeah. But you're going behind the rock. I'm trying to get that life jacket. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. So what it really looks like. It's 
beautiful. Ah. <laughs> hey, Cozy. just finished snorkeling for like so many fish like a school of fish and I was just swimming with them it was amazing that's probably like the best snorkeling experience I've had this far and I've only just started snorkeling you know which was amazing but now I am hungry so I have to eat This was honestly one of the most magical and incredible sunsets I've yet to witness. Everything from the people that I shared it with and the energy and vibrations of this beach are just unmatched, hence why we came here every day. And I got to finally witness the drum circle, which was something I was really looking forward to. And like I said, I had extended my stay just so I could witness this. So thank you for being here with me and sharing these moments together. And I'm sending you lots of love and I'll see you soon.